Tonight, Baldwin County residents are now questioning if a proposed landfill is too close to the Baymanette Airport. Baldwin County Solid Waste wants to reopen the Red Hill landfill that closed in 1996 and build a new garbage transfer station north of the airport. The Federal Aviation Administration has guidance on how close landfills should be to prevent wildlife strikes to planes, and the Solid Waste Director believes they are following that. The FAA says plane collisions with birds and other wildlife are a serious problem and have issued this guidance to help prevent them. It recommends landfills because they are known to attract birds and other hazardous wildlife be 10,000 feet away from airports serving turbine-powered planes. The Baymanette Municipal Airport is approximately 6,500 feet away from the south side of the proposed Red Hill facility and 7,300 feet away from the north end of the site. This is not a municipal solid waste landfill. The reason you don't want an MSW landfill close to an airport is because of the birds. Baldwin County Solid Waste Director Terry Graham says their proposal is to open a construction and debris landfill, which FAA guidance states generally do not attract hazardous wildlife. They don't have that. <laughs> No more so than any anywhere else. The last reported wildlife strike at the Baymanette Airport was in 2020 when a twin turboprop plane hit a deer. Under the proposal, Baldwin County Solid Ways would also move the existing transfer station in Baymanette to the new site and build an enclosed transfer station. The FAA guidance says garbage received behind closed doors is generally compatible with safe airport operations. It's an enclosed facility and that garbage is moved out we probably right now haul three loads out of there a day down to Magnolia Landfill. It doesn't stay there. Graham says the department has reviewed FAA guidance and believes they're in line with it. Yesterday, we told you how people who own property near the proposed site are organizing a grassroots opposition campaign. Emily Ryan says they mailed out 1,200 flyers today to raise awareness about next week's public hearing. Every garbage truck in this part of the world is going to come right down this two-lane road. It funnels past the high school or past the middle school and comes right down this two lane road through this all of these residential. So if you want to have industrial um, landfill and garbage, put it in an industrial park. The FAA declined to do an interview today. The chairman of the Baymanette Municipal Airport Board said he was checking on the proposal to see if there were any concerns.